Dude, that's going ridiculously far. What up, what up? We're here with the Baseball Bat Bros. And today, folks, great looking bat here. We have the new Cat X Connect from Marucci, which is going to be the two-piece hybrid version of the Cat 10. Let's get it. All right, folks, so uh, we had tried out the Cat X One Piece. Absolutely fantastic. Kind of like a Marucci copycat Voodoo One almost. Swings just as light, if not lighter. Feels absolutely incredible. That thing is electric, man. But today, we have the two-piece version of it that's actually only $20 more expensive. Uh, that's actually the closest price margin I've ever seen between a one-piece alloy and a two-piece hybrid. The only difference, you're gonna have a two-piece connection and a composite handle and a little more end-loaded barrel, ideally. So. We will see if the Cat X Connect is even better than the One Piece and also see how it compares to a bat like the Goods here. Let's get it. All right, first, let's just look at the barrel profiles here. So uh, kind of a shockingly small barrel profile on the Cat X here. Goes way down there, right? I think this should be a little bigger. Yeah, not a ton, but still kind of a small barrel profile for a two-piece hybrid. Like if we compare it to the Goods over here, yeah, definitely a bit more beef on the Goods uh, barrel right there. So I'm hoping it's really easy to control, nice and easy to swing, great feel here. I'm gonna compare these two. Zach will compare uh, the two-piece to the one-piece Cat X. We're out here at the Ridgefield Athletic Complex today, home of the Ridgefield Raptors. I believe we have 310 down the line and 360 to center. Let's get it. See how it bunts. Solid. Wind is blowing straight towards like the left field foul pole kind of. That feels oh my God. fantastic. That's a lenia. The ball's flying again today, bro. Jumpy. Foul pull. Come on. Hit it. Oh! <laughs> Is that a video? Yes. Are we done? Yes. Best bat of all time. That was oh a terrible God, swing. Pitches. Dude, I love it. I love it. Dude, it's like lighter than I thought it would have been. It's super light for a two-piece hybrid. It's definitely a little heavier than the one piece, definitely, but the barrel's more forgiving. Okay. And the sound and the feel is like a little more satisfying, yes. you know? Oh. Oh. oh my God. That's going ridiculously dude, street. far. Street. Oh, dude. Oh. The street over there is like way, way, way yeah, back there. Way like, over there. Hill. Jeez. Oh my gosh. It's definitely a really, really good towards the hands. Off the end, not quite as much, but it reminds me a lot of the select power, but probably even lighter. Frickin' G hack. Whoa. Whoa. I hope I don't hit a car, bro. Come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, few with the goods here. It's basically blowing in now. It's like just blowing straight in from right. Yeah. Not good wind, and it's jumping, man. Kind of towards the end. Oh, oh wow. God. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, dude, dude, this is that this. Thing. That is absolutely killed. This I think is a little hotter, but the Connect is definitely easier to control. That's almost like kind of a hybrid between, that Connect's almost kind of a hybrid between the Cadex One Piece and something like this. This is definitely more on the far end of end loaded giant barrel hits absolute tanks. Dude, this thing's amazing. If, oh, if this wasn't so fragile, bro, this would potentially be the top bat for me. It's just. This is a liability, man, with that connector piece. I really hope they figure that out in 2023. Dude, that is a bat that is hard to beat. I feel like I don't have to swing as hard with this to create the same kind of loft and power. Yeah, definitely an easier bat to control, but it's just not quite as powerful as the goods. It just serves a little bit different role in my opinion. Oh, I kind of got beat. Oh, there's people out there. Heads up! Oh, dude, that one in front. 
of a bunch of people Hammer. out there. That was a nuke, dude. I feel like off of Velo, I would do better with this bat, but like if we're just talking power, I think the goods definitely kind of has its number. I want to hear your thoughts. Dude, this is almost more similar to the Cadex One Piece than it is the goods, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, I got that pretty well. Yeah. I feel more weight, like... There's a lot of weight in the hands. Way more weight in the handle. I don't feel like I can whip it as much as I can the One Piece. It's for sure better toward the hands though. Yeah, the end is a little underwhelming. The end feels different. Feels hot though. I don't know. I don't know. I think the weight just feels funky to me. I had a lot of weird swings on it, man. Like I feel like I'm not piecing up balls like I should. I think there's a clunky it amount of like weight all in here. Right here. It makes the bat like swing nice and light. It's easy to control, but it doesn't feel like you're able to throw the barrel even as well as you can with the one piece cap, yes. even though it's lighter. Yes, for sure. See, but then I get a ball like that and it kind of jumps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's like, it's really good. It's yeah, it's really still great. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that's man. gotta go. Yeah, that's gotta go. Oh, big bomb. Oh. <laughs> See, but then that, it's like, that like jumps. Yeah, you know? yeah, no, it, the feel is amazing. Just the only beef I have is kind of the, the weight distribution and how yeah. it swings. I had to save it. Yeah. Gotta go. Oh! Off the top! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're both kind of in a similar boat. It feels really, really good. Yes. But it wasn't like, not everything was clicking as far as like a how we swung it kind of standpoint. I picked up the goods. I felt like I swung a little bit smoother. So um, pick up the one piece, see what you think. Bit. Oh baby! Oh, oh twice in. though. Not as good. Stayed in. <laughs> bad bad. <laughs> Did you barrel that? No, that was hands. The one piece. The dude. one. First hack. Oh. Yep. Just the. Bat, I mean, the bat speed's on another level. Dude. It is. Good lord, Zach. Yes. Dude, that's a tank. I mean... Yeah. 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 Take one of the goods. Okay. Oh, maybe? Dude, oh. That was bad. I mean... Rush. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> All right. So let, I guess let's just rank these three bats. Do you feel okay. like you have a good idea? Oh, 100%. Do you, do you want one more with the connect? I'll take one more. I think I have my ranking though. That's beautiful. See, See, like, when I, you, when you, get, you get it, it's awesome. When you get it, it feels buttery. Man. I don't even think it's a question of like, I think this is really hot. Yeah. I just feel like the waiting throws, it almost feels like it throws my swing off a little bit. Yep. I think that's what I needed to feel was to swing the goods. Yeah. And now I can feel that. Swing looks fantastic. We're spoiled. We are. We three are. Of, three the amazing, fact that we're debating amazing these. freaking bats, dude. Yeah. See, but then if you're like, if you're a meta guy, if you're a select guy, yeah. this could be the bat for you. No, 100%. Do you see what I'm saying? Dude, that's weird. It swings a lot like the meta. It does. I instantly got meta vibes. Yeah, really and number, weird. I didn't really like, I'm not a meta guy. It's like a really like inside outy kind of swing, you know? Yeah. The meta yeah. is. Yep. And that is what this feels like. Almost sort of like that two piece composite feel. All right folks, and before we give our final thoughts here uh, and a bat bro scale for the Cadex Connect, we're gonna do some exit elo testing. We're in here on the hit tracks today at PDX Eastside Training. Uh, we're gonna see how the Cadex Connect compares against our top exit elo bat of the year, the Voodoo One. We'll do a couple swings with this, a few swings with this, and then end back on the Cadex Connect and see where we're at. And we have 36 of the exact same baseball here. We have these uh, Cham Pro pitching machine Kevlar seam balls. Smash that ball. 98.4. That's hands, good launch angle though. 89.2, didn't hurt the hands at all there. Smash that. Uh, delayed read, 
99.7. That's really good barrel. Caught that deep. Still a good hit. 93.4. That's just about perfect. Perfect. 101.7 with the Cadex Connect. We'll return to this at the end. All right, Voodoo One. 101.7 is our current high. Uh, high 90s is good barrel. And wow, 99.8. Uh, right a bunch, 95.8. Should go pretty far though. 385. Did that really well. 102. That's almost perfect. Perfect. 103.5. Okay, a couple more with the Cadex Connect here. Late read, 101. Nice. Uh, a little more swing weight on this and quite a bit more forgiving barrel. hands a little bit, 93.5. This bat feels amazing on the hands. This reminds me a lot of the Select Power. This is a super, super forgiving bat. That is as hard as I can possibly hit it. 101.2. We'll give the Voodoo one more hack just because I freaking like hitting with it. All or nothing. Oh, got it, baby. 415. Oh my, 415. <laughs> I'm the best, bro. All right, so right there, uh, on average and max, the Voodoo one was hotter. Uh, this is an awesome bat, though. It's just a bit different. Honestly, more of like a contact bat. Definitely more friendly down towards the hands. Tons of barrel down here, whereas with the Voodoo, it'll lighten up on hands a little more if you get down here. It does a lot better, kind of out towards the end a little bit, more in this area. Um, awesome bat, it's just gonna have a slightly different bat row scale. We'll get into that here. All right, folks, so the Cat X Connect, I do think we kind of did it dirty. Um, today, we reviewed it against our number one ranked overall bat in Exit Elo, the Voodoo One, our number two overall ranked bat, the Cat X One Piece, and our number three overall ranked BB Core bat, the Goods. So while it went 0 and 3 on matchups today, this legit might be a top you know, five, six, seven, eight overall BB core bat. This thing is very, very good. Um, it's just a little different than what I expected. Like the Cat X Connect is maybe closer to the meta in swing feel and performance than something like the Goods. Really, really good towards the hands, especially. Not a very pronounced M load at all. If we're putting together a bat bro scale for it, I would probably say the sweet spot is around an eight or potentially a nine, but then also the power is around an eight or potentially a nine. So I'd probably actually put the sweet spot and the power at an eight and a half. I think the Cat X being at a nine power is a little hotter than this, honestly. And then swing weight is probably gonna be uh, a five, a little bit lighter than like the select power, a lot closer to, again, something like the meta. And if we look at some of those top 10 bats, this is absolutely gonna give a lot of those a run for its money. The Victus Knox and the Victus Vandal, the Stinger Nuke, all of those bats are pretty niche bats. This one is one of the most versatile BB Core bats I've come across. I could see a power hitter enjoying this bat, and I could even see a contact hitter really enjoying this bat. So I think this has a good argument uh, for potentially uh, five or sixth or seventh ranked overall BB Core bat, even though it didn't quite crack that top three that we were comparing it to today. It's a Super Mario bat, folks. It's pretty dang good at everything, and I think it's going to perform really well in terms of like sales because of that. But comparing it to those top three or four bats, folks, the Cat X, the Voodoo One, the Goods, the Select Power, I would probably honestly put the Cat X Connect behind all four of those. But after that, man, if, if you look at five through 10, this is one of the best bats, if not the best bat in that group. So very solid bat, folks. If you liked the video today, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. You can check out all of our BB Core rankings over at baseballbatbros.com. We have our merch over there as well. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out.